Hello, everyone. Hello. So we have more Kingdom and Amelia for you today. In fact, last time we met, we talked about uh, phylum arthropoda, and we talked about how um, the creatures within phylum arthropoda were pretty darn neat. And I said that we had more that we could learn from that phylum. So we're going to open up Kingdom and Amelia, and we're going to see what's inside today. Okay, so inside Kingdom Animalia is phylum, and I know that this phylum is phylum arthropoda. And remember, arthropod means jointed foot, so they're creatures with a jointed foot. And so we talked about how they're hermit crabs and beetles and spiders and scorpions and shrimp and bed bugs and ticks. And uh, I told you that the phylum arthropoda was broken into six different classes and that I would tell you more about one of those the next time we worked on this. So today's that day. We're going to look at one of the classes of arthropoda. This class is arachnida. And maybe you already know by me saying arachnida because arachnids are spiders. And for those of you who remember your Greek studies, or were maybe were part of the play about Arachne and how she was um, spun the most beautiful tapestry. So um, Arachne comes to us from spider or spider's web from the story of Arachne in Greek mythology. So here we are going to talk about the Arachnids. Open this up and here's some pictures. We see um, trapdoor spiders, tarantulas, scorpions, and ticks. And here is the, our, our wheel of features on there. We're going to go into a slideshow and look at some different pictures that um, tell us more about class Arachnida. Okay, here they come. Class Arachnida. The arachnids are all animals having the following characteristics in common. They live on land and in aquatic habitat. They breathe through holes in the sides of their bodies. They have eight legs. They all have bilateral symmetry. They are cold-blooded. Spiders, ticks, tarantulas, and scorpions are common arachnids. This class is composed of about 10 orders. Three of those orders include the scorpions, order Scorpionidae, um, the horseshoe crabs, order Xyphosura, Zy and the ticks, which are order Acarina. So those are some of the orders for the next group of arachnids. Okay, I hope that those pictures were interesting to you or fascinating to you and not, not too hard to look at. It's really cool to think about um, scorpions and horseshoe crabs, spiders and ticks, eh. um, but Horseshoe crabs are really cool. I have told you in the past that horseshoe crabs are the most um, closely related to the trilobites that are still alive. And it's really cool if you live in a place where horseshoe crabs are living and you can see them doing their, doing their horseshoe crab business. It's really cool. Um, we don't have any in this part of the world. So, okay, so I had a, actually had another picture here on the table with a scorpion. Um, that I wanted to set out to that shows its parts. So I can't wait to see how you follow up class arachnida. You could follow up from something that you learned just now, or maybe if you haven't already researched arachne in Greek myths, maybe you would like to find out about how the spiders get their name, which was from the myth or the legend of arachne. Okay, class arachnida belongs in phylum arthropoda. And phylum arthropoda is part of kingdom animalia. <laughs> so we're, too long. <laughs> it's just long enough. We're going to wrap it back up. And next time when we meet, we're going to try out another new phylum and see what special treats there are inside of kingdom animalia next time. There's always something new to learn about animals and classification of animals and the characteristics that make them all unique. 
Okay, I can't wait to see what we look at next time. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.